Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. And mine is Andrew. Today we're in Minecraft Education Edition to do the Hour of Code. The show must go on. So today is the first video, and now we're going to press here to begin. So first we have an usher leading us, and we're in our character. The usher says, Welcome to the Minecraft stage show extravaganza. Allow me to show you to your seat. Thanks. Okay, so now I think, oh, it looks. Looks like we're going to a theater. And there are lots of mobs sitting nearby. Okay. So now we have to follow the usher to our seat. Okay, so now we have to select our device. And now the show, show is show starting. starting. Oh, there's an explosion. Ow. Something must have went wrong. So now the lights are back up. Look, it's a stage director. Stage manager. Oh no, ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon the interruption. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties and well, we can't start the show yet. Is there anyone here who knows how to code? I repeat, is there any is there a coder in the house? Okay, so we ask, so we know. So now we're gonna use Python. So you can choose blocks if you're a beginner. So first we're gonna code easily. The usher needs help. Use the HOC that raise hand function to volunteer to help and start the game. So here we just simply have to type in HOC dot raise hand function to let the stage manager know that we can code. Okay, so it's processing code, stage manager. I say again, is there a coder in this house? So that's me. Thank goodness. Please meet me backstage. The usher will show you the way. So now we have to help the show the stage manager backstage. And now we're following the usher again. We got special permission to go backstage. <laughs> so first here, there are just some movement tests for your player to follow the usher and the those the line. Backstage. Usher, right through here. You can jump on the boxes to reach the door. Okay. So now here's backstage and it's the stage manager. So interact when you see that arrow. arrow by using left click or right click, whatever. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm Val, the stage manager. We've got a big problem. The star of our show has gone missing. How can the show go on without the star? I need your help tracking down the star. But who is the star? That's right, the star of the show is none other than the agent. Unfortunately, they've run off somewhere backstage. I really need your help. This is my first show and I don't want it to be my last. Please, follow me backstage and help me find the agent. So now we're going into backstage. Oh. Okay, so this is pretty cool, I guess. It's, it's a flying cow. So our character is just moving by itself and following the stage manager. Here is a yellow door. Okay. And the door's open. Stage manager. This is the sound stage where we write the music for the show. It is also the last place we've seen the agents. Talk to Gasly Nethers, our music director, for clues on the agent's whereabouts. So now we have to go in here and talk to the music director for the show. Okay. Look at our character. And this is the gas that is the music director. Wow. And then there are some locked doors. Okay. So here it looks like he's teaching these little baby gas to sing. Okay, we talk. Yo, what's up, cool cat? I'm Gasly Nethers, the music director on the show. How can I help you? Oh yeah, I just saw the agent. Went over there into the sound room, but good luck getting in. The door is jammed again. Maybe we can use the power of music to open the door, you dig? You ready to rock that lock off? Okay, so now look. groovy. Let's start with something simple. Watch and listen to the instruments and see if you can replay the song with your code. Okay, so first there's three instruments. So right now, the guitar is playing some notes. Okay. So now, let's see. We need to unlock the door while playing the correct song. First, your code should start with the instrument that's currently playing. Use the HOC the add instrument function to set what instrument will play. Then, define the notes you want to play using the HOC.note function. So first, 
we had to change this to guitar because the guitar is per currently playing. So now here we can add the notes. So let's see the notes. So it's La, Re, So, and Do. Okay, so first we have to change this. La, Re, So, and the last one you can just keep it as Do. So now we can run the code. So now our code is running and the guitar is playing. So now the door seems still to be locked. Nailed it. I think I saw the door move a little. But if we want to open that door, we really got to rock. This time, X to add the xylophone to the top of the mix so it plays along with the guitar. Okay. So now we have to listen. The xylophone seems to be playing the same notes as the guitar. So I think we can just add it on the top and it will play the same beat. Okay, so I think we have to reproduce this function, the add instrument function. So here, add instrument. Now I have to X, add xylophone. So now we can run it again. Mm -hmm. So now our code is running. The door still won't open. Yeah, did you hear that? I thought the walls were going to come down. One more time and a belt will rock the door right off the hinges. Now let's bring it home by adding a medium tempo drum beat to the mix. Put the drum on top of the mix to really rock that door open. Okay, so now the drum has different... So it's just beating medium for the whole time. Okay, so now let's code. So the song is still missing something. Let's add a medium tempo using the hoc.drums function. Okay, so let's go here and add hoc.drums function. And we're gonna change the stop to medium. Okay, so now let's run the code. So now our music is playing. So now the door is open. Wow, finally. And in that room, looks like a red room. Oh yeah, that did it. The door is open. Cool cat, you really rocked the house. Good luck finding the agent. Until we rock again. See ya. Okay, so here, we can, there's also something. So there's the trumpet man. So if you go close to the trumpet man, look. He's playing his trumpet, right? And then there's a warden coming oh. out of the ground. And then, boom, the water scared him and he ran away. And then the water goes back down into the ground. Okay. It's very funny. So here, we found one gag and the trump is just left there. So we had to co uh, collect these gags or silly moments throughout the backstage to unlock more of these parts to go on and continue. So here, this looks like the music room with the beat and there's this creeper which is another gag this oh. creeper singing on the mic okay so singing singing then he explodes oh. well his wig <laughs> is still there wait yeah. no that's headphones so he's still right there but yeah the animation is pretty cool now we found the agent drats it looks like you found me i'm sorry but i cannot go on stage it's too scary the audience is so big there are many of them, and all of them are looking right at me. Yes, I know they are all here to see me, but I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if they don't like my song? It's it's just too much. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. What if we can help him make a song? I have to admit, that would help me feel more comfortable up on stage. Yeah, that might just give me the courage to face the audience. So now we're going to help him write his song. Okay, so here's like the more fun part, where it gives you a template for the music and you can also change it according to whatever you like you can also redo it uh, multiple times but right now we're just going to use this template and run it okay. so basically you can create your own music yeah. for the agent okay and now it's processing the code and it'll play the music okay 
so the speakers are not dancing. Okay, are you finished? So you can, if you click no, you can redo it, but we're just going to click yes. That song, it's, it's beautiful. How can anyone not enjoy that? Okay, I got this. I'm ready to go on stage. On stage, where the audience is waiting, waiting to watch me. Eyes on me. No, I'm sorry. I still can't do it. I gotta get out of here. Wait, but the agent just, just skedaddled back in the backstage. Now it's the stage manager. Wait, where'd the agent go? They ran off again? And here I thought the show could finally start. Well, clearly your job here isn't done. The agent must have run off to one of the other departments. I need you to track down the agent again and convince them to get out on stage. I'm counting on you. So now we have to go back to the backstage here. And now this is also sheep. another gag. So now it's a sheep shearing the, sh the wool off the oh. another sheep. Wait, sheep regenerate different colors. It's a magic sheep. <laughs> So just keep shearing and shearing. Magic sheep. Okay. So now we have three out of twelve gags. Three gags found. And Durman backup dancer in lock. So that's another member of the backstage crew, which leads to another room we can unlock. So now we're gonna go back here to the backstage. And here you can see our room is checked because that's one part completed. So then here is another gag. Oh, it's the flying cow. Yes, it's a fairy cow. Oh. And the baby zombies are playing. Trying to make it fly using the ropes. So now they've done it. Okay. So now that's 4 out of 12 gags. And then here. Oh, wow. You can see, while you're w looking around backstage, you may see some wacky behind-the-scenes antics going on. Here's where you can keep track of what you found and what you still need to find. You can also interact with any poster you found to see it again. Okay, so here we have 4 out of 12, okay? So now you can off. So go here, okay? See? You can go upstairs, okay? For two extra gags, I think. Here, see, we're upstage. This is one gag with a security guard, guardian. The guardian sleeping, sleeping on the job. And there's a baby villager. The baby <laughs> villager pranked him. And then he just goes back to sleep. Okay. You shouldn't be sleeping on the job, that's not good. Yeah, so then here is the upstage audience, okay, you can see. Then here you can see the stage. And then one more gag on the upstage area is over here by the left. Where you can see a phantom flying around, okay. The phantom's flying around, right? so he jump scares them. And then, and then he'll just scare them again, row by row. So I'll just scream and so scared at this phantom. Okay. So now that's half of the gags. Six gags found. Ghastly Nether's backup dancer unlocked. Okay. So now we can go back downstairs. Down the stairs. To the backstage. And then you can see the blue room has unlocked. As has the purple. So, and the green. So these rooms we can go in another video to complete the each of the four parts. Well, well that, that was fun, fun and, and that's, that's it for today. today. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Remember to, to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.